Hey everyone, it's Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to pair your PlayStation 5 controller to your Windows 11 computer wirelessly with Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So I just added some back buttons to my PlayStation 5 controller and I want to go ahead and re-add it to my Windows 11 computer via Bluetooth. How would I go ahead and do that? Well, it's actually very easily. So let's go over to my computer right now and go to add a Bluetooth device. So just on the desktop here, let's go on down to the start menu and select this. Then go on over to settings. Now under here, let's go to the left side of the screen and go to Bluetooth and devices. Now let's go on over to devices add a device right here and select this and then go to bluetooth mice keyboards pen audio devices controllers now add a device now it says make sure your device is turned on and discoverable select a device below to connect so now we have to put our playstation 5 controller into pairing mode now to do this press and hold the share button and the playstation button right here in the middle for about three to five seconds at the same time and your controller will begin to flash now so let's go and just see okay so my lights are flashing blue that means the controller is in sync mode now if you're waiting like this and nothing shows up you may have to disconnect it from your playstation 5 first before you can proceed or maybe you have it already connected to your phone you're going to have to first disconnect that device from your playstation or phone before it can be discoverable. So let's go over to my PlayStation 5 right now. Now let's press the PlayStation button and go back to the home screen and then go to the top and go over to settings and select this option. Then go on down under this screen until we get to accessories. Then go over to general Bluetooth accessories and choose your wireless controller that you want to connect to your computer. So I have wireless controller right here. Let's press X on it. And then we want to go to delete. Then go to OK. And this will forget the device. Now let's go back over to our computer and put our PlayStation 5 controller into sync mode. And close that window down and go back to add device. So I can see my wireless controller input right here. Let's select it. And it's connecting. And it's connected. And now on your controller, you should see something pop up on the light bar. So I have a blue light. So it should look like that. Now you can go over to Steam and start playing. Now I'm able to use my controller in here and start playing my PC games really easily. So you can go to controller settings now. And then just go to the PlayStation configuration support. And you can see your controller is detected under here. You can identify it. And go to preferences if you want to change the LED lights, etc. So, hopefully, this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out coming up next on Your Six Studios.